size of my hand, right? We're gonna pass it through. You can use this this rake for whole fish or the heads. I always like to use it for the heads. So I put it through the mouth and I bring it out this this end right here. Hey, what's going on everybody? Mark Villarreal here with Los Canaleros del 956. Today we're going to be doing some alligator gar fishing. We're going to throw out a couple of rigs. I have some clients tomorrow, so maybe we can catch some fish before the clients come in tomorrow. So, it just finished raining. It was pouring. It's been raining pretty good. And that's always going to be a good sign when you're freshwater fishing, especially for alligator gar or those big catfish. After a good heavy storm, that's when you want to go out there and, and, and hit the waters. You want to go out there and more than likely you're going to have better luck than any other day. Maybe the best luck if anything right so we're gonna throw out some rigs we're gonna start with our m2a leader this is a m2a leader everybody it has two um i think i big catfish hooks or i don't know they're big catfish hooks big water it has two big water hooks and um they're crimped together so this is the end of my m2a leader and we're gonna pass it through the carpet look at that beautiful carpet it's the size of my hand right we're gonna pass it through you can use this this rig for whole fish or the heads. I always like to use it for the heads. So I put it through the mouth and I bring it out this, this end right here. Just slide it all the way down and let it sit in the bottom of my hooks. And this is all it is to it. So it's going to look, this is the way this, this rig is going to look. Check it out. That's the way it's going to look. We're gonna tie it, but I'm gonna clean my hands first. And we are going to tie it. So I have a loop knot already here, and look at my loop. My loop's pretty big. Um, it's pretty heavy duty already. So all I'm going to do, the reason why I do a loop knot is because if I need to take off this leader and put another piece of bait, I just, I don't have to cut and tie. I just uh, open and slide. That's all it is, open and slide. You see, so I'm gonna slide my, my bait through this loop and as soon as that bait goes through there I put my loop through or my bait through my loop I bring it all the way towards the end and look at that that's all it is to it baby it's ready to go we're gonna go ahead and cast it so there's a there's a pretty deep channel right there. We're, we're on the edge. We're on the bank, as, as you can say. And I'm casting out towards the channel. All right, everybody, that's it. Hopefully we hook on something. Wish us the best of luck. And uh, stay tuned, everybody. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, everybody, we got something on the rod. So apparently I casted the rod behind the boat and now it's all the way in the front. So we know we have a gar run for sure. He's been taking it for a ride, so I'm considering setting the hook already just because of the fact that he started in the back and he's all the way in the front. Whenever you're ready. Welcome. He's going out. He's coming back this way.
Okay. It's crazy. Now he's going back to the back. So he went from the back to the front. Now he's <laughs> going from the front to the back. Oh, that's crazy. He's actually going out now, but that's good. We want him over here. We'll be able to land him a lot easier. Remember everybody, this can be a three foot gar, this can be a seven, eight foot gar, you never know out here. There's no telling actually. Is he on? Uh -huh. Do you feel him? Yeah. You feel him? Yeah, he's, he's going straight back now. That's why he doesn't feel like he's pulling too hard because he's actually picking up slack and going straight back rather than going out. What is that, the lapia? This one, no, this one was the carpet. Yeah, he's coming to the back, he's coming straight back, he's picking up slack and he's coming straight back. That's why he's not pulling because uh, he's coming in and back to the back. Now he's in the back of the boat. So he did a 180 and he came back the same. He reversed the 180 and he's on there. I'm about to set the hook, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, baby, we're on. He's shaking off that hook. He's coming. He's trying to get in, caught in the trees, and he's very aggressive. He's trying to get caught in the trees. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Let's go. Bring it home. Bring that golden catch home. First one of the night. First one of the night, baby. Let's go. He's not that big, but he's feisty. That was a carpet that we demonstrated on the on the intro. The exact same carpet that we demonstrated in the intro. Check that out. With the M2A leader. <laughs> really near. Slack a little bit. Yeah, Leave it as is because it got caught up in there. But if you want, let's get to the car. Already. Leave it as is. All good. I'll keep them away from the line. You want me to hold the, the rod? Oh, you hook him? Look at that gaff action. One hand, one hand. Ah. Woo. One for one. <laughs> Let's put them on a stringer. You can keep recording. So we can put them on a stringer. Pass me that pink stringer over there. Um, it's going to be in the front box. You can use the camera to look in there. So I told uh, I told my buddy that it was gonna hit a nightfall, but a one hour after nightfall, exactly one hour after nightfall, we were we were eight minutes till we were gonna move. <laughs> eight minutes left until we we're gonna move. An hour past nightfall, it hit everybody. It's just the way they're feeding out here right now. 
That's just the way they're feeding out here. I want to give a big and special shout out to Rick Diaz. Rick Diaz in the house. Rick, I love you, brother. Wish you were out here. You already know it. We go way back. This one's for you, brother. Yes, right here. sir. Special shout out. This is it, everybody. Got him on the stringer. Ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Ain't going nowhere. Oh look, look at the leader. Show him the leader. Ooh. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the leader and we're gonna get our leader back. How are you gonna do that? How? Carefully. You have the knife? We're gonna retrieve our leader back. Mouth is closed, let it open. All right, everybody, so we're gonna call it a night. We did catch one alligator gar, and uh, we're gonna bleed out this gar. I'm gonna show you all what I do to bleed them out. It's very important. You don't have to bleed out your, your alligator gar, but it's, 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 I say it is important because you want, you want that meat to get very white. So by bleeding out the alligator gar, that meat's, that meat is gonna cleanse itself, right? That blood's gonna come out. You're not gonna have that red bloody meat. You're gonna have, uh, some nice good white meat now where to leave the knife so this is one way you can gut them or not gut them bleed them out <laughs> you gotta cut them out on the gills you see he's starting to he's, he's gonna die everybody so don't don't think uh he's suffering he's gonna die in an instant but he's gonna pump out that blood let that blood pump out right there and just leave them in there for about 15 minutes he's gonna bleed out that's how you get that meat white all right everybody so we bled out the gar we're gonna go ahead and clean this gar so y'all can see how white the meat is uh, i'm not gonna go too much into details I am just, I'm not going to go too much into details, I'm just going to try to clean the gar as fast as I can just to show you all the, the meat, the quality of it when, when you um, bleed out your gar. Yeah, so you can see how, how white this meat is. It's very white. Why? Because we bled it out as you saw. And I'm gonna try to skin this gar as fast as I can.
Look how, look how white that meat is, everybody. It's super white. That's how white this meat is.
that's it everybody so you got your belly meat over here you got your rib meat over here more belly meat over there and all your rib meat right here we're gonna rinse it off we're gonna put it in the bag that's all it is to it everybody